Hello. Today we will continue from where we um, left off in the previous lecture about chemical uh, kinetics. Um, we will learn more about how to use the, uh, the functions that we learned in, uh, in the reactor models for Kentera and how can we use them in more practical aspects. So uh, we will do that by um, simulating the ignition delay of a fuel system. I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, most of you must have uh, heard or uh, um, actually know quite a bit about the concept of ignition delay. Um, and um, it is a very well-known concept uh, in combustion and you must have come across in your combustion um, uh, course. However, just to uh, recap, ignition delay is a, 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 a phase in a combustion process of a fuel when the actual reactions have not really started. And the fuel and oxygen mixture, the fuel and oxidizer mixture is still getting ready or preparing itself for the, the combustion processes. So uh, all the initiation reactions happen during this phase. And once they've they, once they are complete and the ignition starts, that is when you see a spike in temperature and pressure and all the other thermodynamic parameters of uh, the fuel and mixture. And that is when um, it is said that uh, full-on combustion has started. So the period before the temperature spike, um, that short period when the mixture is getting ready for combustion, that is known as the ignition delay. So we will try to simulate ignition delay for uh, a methane hydrogen mixture. Um, and uh, we'll see how to do it with the, the reactors in, in Kentera. So let's get started. We will actually write a full script today and, and run it to uh, plot the results and see uh, what it shows. In fact, this is a very uh, important script and people use um, ignition delay to kind of compare different reaction mechanisms as well. So let's, let's begin. Uh, first thing obviously is to import Cantera as CT. Oh, sorry. I think I hit the wrong button. <clears throat> okay. um, then let's import, to create a plot in Python, we need to import uh, matplotlib. That's a, um, uh, that's, that, that is how we normally um, use the functionalities in Python to plot uh, our results. And again, we will not go into the details of Python, um, but I will I will just show you how to how to do that, how to include the capabilities of matplotlib here. And again, it's similar to uh, how we imported Kentera. So we write I import matplotlib dot pyplot as PLT. So now instead of uh, using the whole thing, we can just use PLT to use the functionalities of uh, matplotlib. All right, so let's again um, define a gas phase. And let's again take GRI. So the GRI is a very, very con common and a very universal sort of reaction mechanism. It is uh, good for methane as well as for uh, uh, methane hydrogen mixtures. So since we are simulating methane hydrogen mixture here, let's uh, work with GRI at this point. Okay, and for the initial state, we will say TPA. Here, we will give a high temperature to, uh, to initialize the, uh, the reactor. Normally, whenever combustion takes place, you have to add a spark to it or some kind of external energy, whether it is a matchstick or a lighter or some kind of a spark through a spark plug or whatever it is, but some additional energy has to be added uh, from outside so that the reactions can start. And to do that, to simulate that, we will um, 
we will initialize the reactor with high temperature nitrogen so that there is already high temperature inside the reactor uh, when the reactants are actually introduced the reaction um, can start so this initial spark that will be provided by this high temperature let's say um, so um, anything i've uh, we can probably try 1000 1200 um, let's try a high one say 1200 then ct dot one atmosphere <clears throat> and um let's since we are just initializing let's initialize it with the nitrogen all right um and now let us put in the actual uh fuel air mixture so then we will say gas dot say um set equivalence ratio um so let's set a slightly lean ratio um maybe like say 0. 0.77 or 0. 0.8 something like that and for oxidizer let's have methane so ch4 say 70 percent by volume of methane and hydrogen 30 percent but for oxidizer, let's have air. So O2 here will be um, 0.21 and N2 will be 0.79. All right, then we define a reactor. Uh, let's put the comments as well. Sorry, I kind of forgot. initializing the uh, mixture or initializing the reactor setting up the fuel air mixture right next would be uh, defining the <clears throat> or yeah or uh, declaring an ideal gas reactor so r equals ct dot ideal gas reactor and we will initialize this reactor with the fuel air mixture so that will be gas all right and again this fuel air mixture the, the initial temperature is 1200 kelvin so that will uh, initiate the reaction and then the reaction will proceed um and let's again obviously to um, solve the reactor or advance it in time we will have to uh, use the 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 uh, reactor net class so let's say sim equals ct dot reactor net r that's the um yeah that's that's the reactor here now uh, we will have to plot obviously and so for plotting uh, let's let's have uh, some um, some lists so t let's call it t, t time because we on the x-axis we will have the time we define one list here then the temperature oh, sorry. and the initial time equals zero
Okay. Now, to uh, progress, I mean, to progress the reactor in, in the time or step it in time, let's have a while loop and we will use the step function here. Yeah. Um, let's have it for say 0 0.02 seconds, All right? And so then we will say t equals sim dot step. So what will happen is t will get the time step. The value of the time step will be stored in t. Then we just append the list to save the the time step. Sorry dot append <coughs> t. So we are saving the time step. And we are also saving the temperature now because we would like to see this, that, that spike in temperature when the actual ignition or, or when the actual combustion starts. So the plot will be between temperature versus time, right? Um, actually, let's do one more thing. Let's let's go ahead and uh, multiply this t by by some number, um, say thousand, because we are only going up to uh, 0 0.02 seconds, right? That's a very small time time. Uh, uh, that's a very small total time. So on the x-axis, it will be uh, in decimals, and and that will not uh, look very nice. So let's uh, multiply it by 1,000 to plot uh, the seconds in milliseconds. And then we'll just write plt dot plot for the x. <coughs> we have uh, time. And for y, we have the temperature. Um, sorry, this should be t time, and this should be t time as well. Now let's add some um, um, access labels. Plt dot x label, and again, um, we will not be going into the details of, of Python at this point. I'm trying to use very very basic or um, okay, uh, let's let's just have very very basic uh, labels and 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 that's it, uh, so that we don't complicate things with with uh, Python. Uh, so the aim um, of this course is to teach Kentera, not 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 Python itself. So we'll keep it at a very basic level. So we'll just have uh, x label as time. Sorry. Time that will be in milliseconds, right? Okay. So time and plt dot y label will be in um, temperature. And that's in Kelvin. All right, so let's save this now. And try to run it. So what we're doing here finally, okay, let's, let's run and then uh, we'll quickly browse through the program once more. Okay, so it says something is uh, wrong. Composition string n two. Um, non key value data in comp. Okay, I think. I may have to define this as one. Let's see if this helps. 
All right. So uh, basically, I mean, I just had to tell them that uh, well, there's hundred percent nitrogen and and uh, and nothing else. So if you see uh, here, um, so there's time on the x-axis and temperature on the y-axis. There's a bit of uh, time that uh, the whole system takes uh, to kind of start combustion. So there is this this uh, amount uh, of time is the ignition delay. Um, now, I, I know we have, uh, I mean, we can go more uh, kind of in detail about, uh, or, or we can uh, kind of refine the scale on the x-axis to know exactly the value of ignition delay. Uh, and uh, also we can just take a look at, at, the, at the data uh, that has been generated. So that, this is a, a good time to go to variable explorer tab. Here, if you see, you see all of these lists, right? Now, if I see T temp and I double click, you will see all of these values uh, in this list. And so as you scroll down, you will see 1199. Uh, this is kind of standard. I mean, this is a uh, constant. Um, as we keep scrolling down, see now the temperature starts to rise. And now it is rising to 1225 uh, from 1200 and 1264. And then immediately it shoots to 1800. Uh, and, and 1500, 1600. So, so this is how um, you can actually go into a lot more detail at each, each value of the list using the variable explorer. Um, and this gives you an idea of how to kind of simulate ignition delay. Um, and again, since we've already, I think this video is anyways about 15 minutes so far, so I will not spend more time trying, trying to refine the x-axis, but you get the idea. I mean, this is how we, simulate uh, ignition delay in Kentera. And um, you can use the same script to compare different reaction mechanisms as well. So this was GRI uh, 3.2. You can have, um, say, there are other uh, me reaction mechanisms for methane, hydrogen uh, mixtures as well. And you can use this script to plot the ignition delay with the other reaction mechanisms as and see uh, what do they predict in terms of ignition delay. And you can compare it with uh, experimental literature and then try to uh, figure out the best reaction mechanism for your, uh, for your task. That is how uh, we kind of simulate uh, ignition delay in Kentera and use uh, the reactor systems in Kentera. Well, thank you so much. And uh, in the next lecture, we will look at some more advanced um, features and more advanced functions of the reactor module. Thank you.